Hello everybody, it's Silvershirt, and welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we got the main and hidden power stars from the Right Side Down Galaxy. And as you can see by that silver crown, there are no more power stars to collect there. This time, we're going to open up this pathway that actually only needs seven power stars. Let's see what we can find. There seems to be a familiar looking symbol on that flag. And this level is called... Bowser Jr.'s Fiery Flotilla. Yep, Bowser Jr. returns once again. So, let's see what he's up to. And this level is called... Gobblegut's Aching Belly. Hmm... This appears to be a rather interesting level. I can see the Comet Metal already. Okay, so... First we got some coins, a few statues of Bowser Jr. And these strange Goombas. I actually think they're called some kind of space beetles or something. O ouch. Anyway, they'll defeat them, flip them on their side, then jump on their undersides. Okay, and up here we've got a fire bar, another one of these things, and a thwomp. Uh, I probably should have used that to get up here, don't worry, I, th I think I can still make it. I'll do it from higher, just, okay. And right up here is the comet metal. And here we've got a magic koopa, they teleport around spawning mini goombas. Uh, you can go hit the switch, and it opens the door. Ah, uh, these dumb video game bosses leaving the paths to th them in plain sight. Got some dry bones over here. Right, how many times you hit them, they'll just keep getting back up. Can't defeat them unless you submerge them in lava or something. And checkpoint. We appear to be on this fiery planet thing. I, I just, oh, what, no, 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 no. Okay. As much as Mario getting burned is hilarious, I'd rather not risk it. Uh, what's this all about? No. Oh, come on. I'm sure we've already learned about jumping and spinning. Another Magic Koopa, or Kamex in PAL regions, which is weird, be which is which doesn't help in the fact that there is a specific Magic Koopa named named Kamek, who is not in this game. Take this launch star, and we're already at the boss planet. Oh, come on! I love this theme. Wahaha! <laughs> Made it this far, huh? I won't need my dad's help to finish you off. I got a big surprise for you. Oh, gobble got dinner's on. Don't forget to protect your bellyache bulges. Thanks for the tip, Junior. This is Gobblegut! A humongous dry kid is actually referenced in a Mario Kart 8 DLC course, Dragon Driftway. And so he'll chomp at the ground, and eventually he'll go tunneling in there after making that trade sound. So when those bellyache bulges Bowser Jr. mentioned will stop before going under, and that's when you can hit them. I actually recommend hitting the later ones first because. Because at this in this stage you'll have less time to hit them bef what, before he comes back out. This is one of the largest bosses in the Mario franchise. And 
and he is down. And pop goes the dragon. And check it out, it's a grand star. So, we, we drove off Bowser Jr.'s minion. So I think it's time to claim our prize. You got a grand star! A portal to the next world opened up. Yep. Each grand star opens up a new portal. Got that grand star and the comet medal. And some coins. Up to 400 exactly. Wow, look at that. You did it. You brought back a grand star. That's great. Now we can use the power of that grand star to travel to another world. We're one step closer to retrieving your special one, buddy. Through space and time to an unknown world we go. I'm jiggling just thinking about it. Ready, Captain? And here we are at World 2. Wow, take a look at that. We found an entirely new world. Looks like there should be plenty of power stars here. Go ahead, we're all counting on you, Captain. Now I actually wonder. Um, uh, now I'm pretty sure it would tell me. Uh, not even ten minutes in, so let's just head into this new galaxy. The Puzzle Plank Galaxy. Kicking off World 2, we've got our first level, the Puzzling Picture Block. A bunch of planets made of wood with saw blades. Gee, seems like a great place to live. Okay. Kicking things off. Now I feel like there's something I want to do. I want to ground pound the edge of this. I want to ground pound the edge of this spring. Oh, come on. I feel like I should just stop because I'm and I did do it for no reason. Okay, I'm not sure what I was remembering. But that block just has a bunch of star bits. If I ground pound this, more star bits. And even more star bits. I feel like that's just going to tell me how to ground pound. Uh, yep. Now, if I ground pound the middle of this, we have new enemies, Wigglers. If you ground pound near them, they'll flip over, then you can jump on them to defeat them. But be careful, because if you ground pound near them and don't finish them off, that'll happen. Haha, <laughs> they're faster than me. Ouch. Oh, they go back to normal after they hit you. Well, let's just finish you off. <laughs> Go 
Go ahead and grab all these music notes. And that nets us three one-ups. This just gives us coins. This gives us a launch star. And this one, star bits. So let's move on. And we've got this next planet. These stumps just give us collectibles. And there's actually a hungry Luma over here that I'm not going to deal with. Just, I did not actually mean to do that. Here's more coins. Oh, now I remember where the comet metal... <laughs> I can actually see the comet metal over there. So anyway, you want to ground pound these... These steps in. I'm not going to deal with that pipe just yet, because I know what it is, and I don't really need to, to deal with it. Uh, I'll go to it later. And ground pound those steps made them appear on this side. Let us use this launch star. And here you want to hurry, because, as you can see, there's a comet metal over there, and a saw blade about to cut off the platform. You need to grab it! Okay. Yeah, these saw blades are going to cut off parts of the ladder level, but here, that's actually a good thing, because now you can wall jump. Just got to be quick about this stuff. One up, in plain sight. Those annoying enemies latch on to Mario and you gotta shake them off. Okay, ground pounding this gets you a sling star. Sends you over to this planet with another uh, salesman Luma. And a checkpoint and a launch star. Over to this planet. The titular puzzling pixel block. All I gotta do is ground pound these pieces into place. And it appears to form... It, it appears to form the shape of some kind of bug. Just one more piece. This symbol always signifies ground pound. And when it's complete... This is the Mandabug stack. All I gotta do is let it charge and ground pound. Destroyed its baby, and now it's mad. It, uh, I was gonna say this could barely qualify as a boss, but I just got hurt there, so... <laughs> it even only takes two hits. Yeah, not much of a boss, really. But whatever. Point thing is, we've got our Power Star. And that is number 13. And we've unlocked two more galaxies that we won't be dealing with yet. Hey, looks like there's a few changes to the world map. Let's check it out. That toad came back with you, right? He sure loves delivering mail. Ooh, and we're introduced to Mail Toad. Well, I mean, I guess we'd seen him before. Go ahead and humor him. Maybe he's got something for you. But now we'll start delivering letters. Talk to him, and... Hey, Mario, I decided to start delivering mail. And my first letter is for you. Mario, I'm very far away right now. But I'm okay. I know you'll come save me. P.S. I've attached something to this letter. I hope it will be useful. Once well, again, she's sending letters to outer space. Just send yourself, Peach. Princess Peach included a one-up mushroom in a letter. Oh, even when she's kidnapped, the princess is so thoughtful. Well, come see me next time. This mail delivery... I like in the first game, they don't give you a choice to take them or not. And now it'll automatically zoom you out to show the different worlds. This is the Grand World Map. 
the power of the Grand Star, we can travel great distances across space and time. Now we can travel to another world whenever you're ready, Captain. And you can go back and see the and see the galaxies of each world. But right now we're just going to head back to Puzzle Plank and grab that hidden power star. I'll see you there. So, as you might have guessed by the hungry Luma we find on this planet, we need coins to reach the hidden power star. And she wants 70. Now, I collected every coin I could get at this point. Well, nearly, because there are still a few more on this planet. And I... I'm only up to 13. You might think this Luma is just messing with me a lot. But... If you see that, that pipe that was down there... Okay, I do not want to miss these coins. Okay, I feel like I missed one that fell. But it shouldn't be too big a deal. Star bits. Coins. Got 23. Now, if you head into this pipe... It's another bonus room. Grab this, and there's a ton of coins around here. I'm not exactly sure how many there are, but I just need a lot. Come on. Okay, yes. Phew. And I have exactly 71. It's a pretty small margin for the coins to need. Yes, I'll give you 70. Got a huge coin craving. I don't know when Hungry Luma started eating coins. Like, <laughs> but whatever. Ah, uh, please just get me through the rest of this video. And there's a strange planet with a tree over here. Take the launch star. And we've got the cloud flower back. Just these cloud flap platforms. That poor planet's got a black hole under it. Use the cloud flower to get up to this planet. And... This is Bugaboom! You may remember this boss from the first game, but in that game we actually needed... We actually needed to use Bee Mario to defeat him. But in this game, we use Cloud Mario instead. But he's still defeated basically the same way. Unless, of course, you miss. Honestly, his attacks aren't too much of a big deal since you're above him for much of it. I meant to ground pound. It's... It's actually hitting him that's the real challenge. And here's where he starts flying. And just wait for him to come over here. And of course I missed. Oh yeah, he drops bombs. This guy's kinda scary. And that's hit number two. And now he gets angry and starts flying sideways. Well, not entirely, but of course when he is flying sideways, you can't hit him. But that's not a problem, because he is down. So now let's claim our hidden power star. Okay, with two more power stars and a grand star under our belt, I think I'm going to end it off here. Next time on Super Mario Gox 2, we're going to check out... That level's called Bugaboom's Back. We're going to check out those two new galaxies we unlocked. See you then.